Yeah, who's there, Charlie says. Hello, I'm new in the building. Just want to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in, says Charlie. Oh, shit. Sally Face says, my name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. And uh, Charlie is sweat-stained, piss-stained, and holes in his socks. Charlie says, what the hell is with your face, child? Charlie says, basking in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment it is to have this full set. You can look all you want to, but don't even think about touching them. What is a glitter pony, Sally Face says. Oh, and then a close-up on Charlie. He's hurt. <laughs> like, oh my god, child hit me once. I can't wait to try out Sally Face. Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Let's Try Out video. I'm ProtoDud and today we're going to be trying out Sally Face. Now, I don't know anything about this game other than uh, I believe it's a side-scroller. And that's about it. I think it's meant to be creepy, could be cartoony. We're going to give it a shot and find out. Okay. We're going to choose our, uh, our language. We're going to choose our keyboard type. Control type, I mean. Okay, so W A is indeed a move. F for spacebar to interact. Q for inventory. And escape for pause. Okay, simple enough. First thing I'm gonna do is turn the fucking volume down. Okay, so right off, I can tell you this is a console port. Okay, graphics quality four. Uh, didn't seem like it. How, how am I supposed to? Okay, so the arrow keys move it really fast, and maybe the WASD keys move it a little, no, I don't think so. Holy fucking shit. Okay, well, I mean, that's some really sorry controls. Like, there is no mouse support on this. Uh, fuck. I mean, I'm just gonna have to roll off the volume a little bit on my uh, headset here. Jesus Christ. So, new game. It was just like the last time. Oh, I gotta press F. Only this time, it started in a hospital. Okay. So it was different last time. Oh, I like that effect. That was cool. So this is like a, like a hand-drawn motif. Phone's ringing. Answer phone with the F button. Sally face. Hello. Caller. It's okay, Sal. Everything is going to be okay now. Come and see. Who is this? What are you talking about? Where am I? Who is this? Sal, come and find me, the caller says. Weird. Sounded like my dad, she said. I up the phone. So I'm guessing you play as Sally, the blue-haired little girl. And uh, <laughs> uh, you got your face all bandaged up, so apparently you had your face removed. This looks like a hospital room. Uh, you look like child size, certainly child size compared to the bed. Push with F. Okay. Looks like there's something there, but it's too dark to see. Okay. So, how about we go turn the light on? Light switch, door. Light switch, F. Turns the light on. Hey, the picture went to color. I like the foreground, the scrolling foreground. Hey, look at that. That's cool. So, Sally, little Sally's a little bit bloodier in the daytime with the, uh, with the light on. Oh, it's a key. Okay. Hey, Sally Face says it's a key. Q is in my inventory. The key says number five, okay. So she's gonna lurch over here and we're gonna smack the door. I just came through a brick wall. Is, is that what that's, did I just come through this brick wall? Okay, so that's a door, C, D, B, A. Can I walk off screen? No. can't walk off screen okay so do I open up the first door I come to D 
Okay, so this looks like uh, the paint's peeling off the walls. Is that what that's supposed to be? What the hell? Okay, so all the doors are lettered. They're not numbered, they're lettered. And there's a three written on the wall here. Okay, so I came through P, which is also D, except I arrived by this brick door brick doorway okay what does that mean I don't think that happened the first time I went through a door oh we're at the same place okay we'll go through B now I arrive back in the same room go through A I arrive back in the same room so I'm supposed to go through D first D and then I don't choose P because that will take me back to the room I came in so M and O now, that was the wrong one so I'm back to D so I go through D I'll choose O oh so the walls are even dirtier now and H G F E so which one do I go through am I trying to get the what part of the alphabet am I really trying to reach here in Sally Face? So, I arrived here, there was no bricked up door. Do I go through H? Do I go through G? We'll try G. Oh wow, I'm outside. I'm getting rained on. Oh, there's people. It's a funeral. Can't react with anybody. Okay. Hey, look, a dog. Who's a good dog? Who's a good boy? The dog says, I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. Huh? Go see for yourself, the dog says. And melts away. So this looks like a painting. Like a... Diane Fisher, 1984, Beloved Mother and Wife. Climb down into the hole. Why not? Um... Okay, so the background... Uh, the background wall actually looks like... Uh, really abstract like a crowd of people like looking toward us to me That's interesting So what is this is this a dirt wall here? That's in the foreground is it a tree? Batteries not included a keypad It's locked the door is So what's the keypad? I'm gonna say three. Nope can't just hit three on the numpad, that would be too easy. What the fuck? <clears throat> um, maybe if you press anything in there, it does that. I know there was a three that was written on the wall earlier, I called it out. Certainly that wasn't the passcode. But, I don't remember seeing any other numbers. Hey, look at this dude. Dad? You are not my son, he said. My son is not a murderer. Okay. And now there's a silhouette of him splashed onto the onto the wall. That's cool. This is your fault, it says. Ha <laughs> ha. And we're in a mortuary. I can't interact with anything so far. Hey, look at that. He's got a tag on his toe. That's some old style dead people shit. I don't know if they do that to corpses and cadavers anymore. Are you? Hey, look, it's a female woman. And that's when I woke up, Sally Face says. Dr. Enon, mmm, yes, an interesting dream. I think we should come back to that dream later, but for now I can tell you... But for now, can you tell me more about the body? Which one, she said. The second one. The one from the apartment, he says. Dad and I had just moved in, and I had a weird feeling that the place... I had a weird feeling about that place right away. Excuse me. Episode 1, Strange Neighbors. Okay. Cool, so that was just like the preface. This will be our new beginning, Dad says. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. 
Why don't you explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? Okay. Um, yeah, I like this this kid's... I'm certain this is a female, but Dad referred to this character as his son, or not my son, earlier, so I don't know, man. Maybe it's gender ambiguous. I mean, ki I mean, boys can have pigtails if they want to. I don't give a fuck. Uh, just some stuff Dad got from the store. Nothing important. I like how the character kind of is shaking his head. There's a there's a an animation whenever you're sitting reading. That's pretty cool. So this all looks hand drawn. Um, I don't know how they do hand drawn digital art. I leave Sal's room, Dad's room. Can't walk off the screen, not out of frame, so we'll go to Sal's room. Hey, got a kitty cat. Let's pet the kitty cat. I see you made yourself at home already, Gizmo. Must be nice. Um, Gizmo's a pretty cliche name for a pet. I would say I would say that would have been cooler if it was something different, but uh, maybe they're trying to... Hey, a gear boy. I was wondering where this was, she said. Didn't you just move in? How could you fucking lose something? that you just moved in with. Okay, so if I hit Q... My gear boy, it looks like it needs new batteries though. Okay. Okay. Q to back up. Leave? No. Let's go further this way. This is the bathroom. What's in the bathroom? It's a bathtub. And it's a toilet. Some sleep aid. Do I take it? Dad still has trouble sleeping at night. After. So, what I just discovered is that I can walk with the arrow keys. And with W, A, S, and D. Can't walk off screen. Okay. Yeah, this kid walks like Sasquatch. This, this gate, this kid's like uh, that old 1980s footage of the Sasquatch. Leave, Sal's room, Dad's room. Hey. Hey, kiddo. Decided to take a break from unpacking? That's not a bad idea. We've been at it for a while now. Maybe I'll take a break myself. What do you think about this place? <clears throat> I miss Jersey. I miss Mom. I miss Mom. Yeah, Dad says. Me too, buddy. Me too. What do you think about this place? It may not be as nice as our old house, but at least we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we can make a real home here. I miss Jersey. I know you do, bud, but please try to give it a chance. School will start up in a couple of weeks and you'll be able to make all new friends. Sally Face says, yeah, I guess so. Dad says, I know so. Anyone who would be... Anyone would be lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, Dad. Mm-hmm. See ya. He says, try not to get into too much trouble. Okay, so I think that uh, that pretty much squares it away. This this kid is named Sally Face, or Sally, or Sal. But the kid is, in fact, a boy. So that's... That's... Gender... Pushing some gender identity bullshit on me right now. It's kind of not something I'm super interested in, but, uh, you know, whatever. Knock on 401, can't walk off screen. No one's home, Sally Face says. Sal's place is 402. Here's the elevator, and then let's talk to the security guard. Cop doesn't say anything. Why are you standing here? I'm protecting nosy little freaks like you from seeing what they ought not to see, he said. Now scram, I don't get paid to babysit. Who are you? I'm your fairy fucking godmother, what does it look like? I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. What happened in that room? Police business, kid, why don't you run along back to your parents? Tough guy cop. I wish I could, Sally Face said. What was that wise ass? Sally Face says nothing. That's what I thought. 
stupid weirdo kid grumble grumble. I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna go down the elevator. Insert key card. Okay, so up and down switches the buttons, so I don't... I, oh, uh, up and to the right is four, so that means we're on four. Let's go up to five. Notice this floor, floor is currently being renovated. For your safety, please make your way to the nearest exit. So we can open, say, 504. Hello. Sorry, I didn't think anyone lived up here, Sally Face says. Sally Face, hello, sir. Are you okay? The bum guy here looks... Uh, he says, you shouldn't have come here. Sally Face says, I'm sorry. I was just trying to get to know my neighbors. And uh, the sick bum guy says, a dark place, this building. Horrible things happen. And Sally Face says, are you sure that's okay? Are you sure you're okay? And then there's a knock at the door. And the bum guy's gone. The derelict, the vagrant. Okay, so now there's handprints on the bathroom. That's weird. The bathroom door is locked. Okay. I'll go into this room then. That's locked. That's locked. That's locked. Hmm. Okay, we'll go down to number three. Caution, wet floor. Can't get past the wet floor sign. No one's home. Here's the janitor. Lady. Hey. Lisa says, oh my, sorry, you just startled me a little bit. You must be one of the new guys from 402, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Sally Face says, yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Lisa says, Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. Please take care of this place. I take care of this place. Keep things up and running. So if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sally Face says, Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome, Lisa says. So I'm going to go through 302. Okay, yeah, already checked that. I'm going to go down to floor number two now. No one's home. Yeah, who's there, Charlie says. Hello, I'm new in the building. Just want to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in, says Charlie. Oh, shit. Sally Face says, my name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. And uh, Charlie is sweat-stained, piss-stained, and holes in his socks. Charlie says, what the hell is with your face, child? Oh, I know. Young teens, new generation of self-expression. I was young once myself. I get it. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? Sally Face says, no, no, it's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. These things are like my family, so if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family. Got it? Sally Face says, yes, sir. Not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. He says, good to hear. Okay. Charlie says, basking in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment it is to have this full set. You can look all you want to, but don't even think about touching them. What is a glitter pony, Sally Face says. Oh, and then a close-up on Charlie. He's hurt. <laughs> like, my god, child, have you never seen my glitter ponies rainbow spectacular? It's only the greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you want. Oh, like the movie Aliens. And the ponies. The ponies. Don't even get me started. Mmm, yeah. Sally Face says, oh, I guess I missed that one. I'll have to look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me. You won't regret it. Okay, so I think I, uh, I think I figured out their scheme here. So we have the idle animation on the left, which is Sally. And then we have this talking animation on the right. And the text box is the person that's talking at the time. So whenever it's their turn to talk, they do a, they do a, a motion. So that's pretty cool. So, nice place you got. 
It's my own chunk of heaven, just me and my stuff. Do you live here alone? Charlie says, alone? Look around you. I've got company. i got all the company I could ever need. Well, it is nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. So... Charlie says, yes, I know. You're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection. Sally Face says, yeah. Charlie says, don't worry. Anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in again. So, I'll be right back. I'm fucking boning out. I got a jet. Oh, here we go. Leave. Am I going the right way? Did I go this way yet? No one's home. Hmm, I guess no one's home. I wonder if that's random or if that's specific. Yeah, it's specific to the doors. Okay. Alright. Nowhere to go but down. We're on two. We need to go to one. Addison, huh? Must be the boss. Mr. Addison. Oh dear, what a frightful... Uh, pardon me. Let's start over. Hello, young sir. New resident of Addison Apartments. Room 402. How may I be of service? And then Sally Face says, How do you know who I am? Mr. Addison says, I know that it takes... It, I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. I ask, I mean, Sally asks, can I come in? Heavens no, Mr. Addison says. I'm afraid that it's, that I'm not quite particular fucking shit. I'm afraid that I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sally Face says, sure. Goodbye. Farewell, my friend, Mr. Addison says. No one's home, 104, and then we got uh, another cop, or an investigator. What's going on, Sally says. Hello, young man, you just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I've already spoke to your father. It seems that you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out, that's good. Try not to get in our way for now, okay. We're investigating a serious crime. Was it murder, Sally asks. I can't even talk about that, says the detective. Bye. So he's blocking the way. Can't get past him. Gotta walk this way. No one's home. 102. Whoa. Yikes. Mrs. Gibson. Yeah, what do you want? It's a little early for a trick-or-treating, isn't it? Sally Face didn't say anything. Mrs. Gibson says, uh... Stupid good-for-nothing kids, grumble, grumble. I'll knock on that door again. You again? Why do you kids insist on making my life miserable? Please just leave me alone. When will this torture end, grumble, grumble? I'll knock on it again. Mrs. Gibson doesn't say anything and just slams the door. Man, she is hideous looking. That reminds me of some fucking The Shining old lady in the bathtub scene shit. Gross. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go up the elevator back to number four, because I don't have a key card to get to the basement. So we're going to go to number four, see what Dad's got to say about all this, this murder shit. Dad's room. Hey, kiddo. Hmm, he didn't have anything new to say. Well, what the hell? There's nothing in the bags. Hello, the cop doesn't say anything new. Man, uh, fuck. I'm at an impasse. I don't know where to go, what to do next. So, I don't have any batteries. My goal was to explore the building. I think I've explored the whole building.
Well, shit. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal. What's up? Lisa says. Oh, okay. So the whole... <laughs> How long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here. I live here, too. I'm on call 24-7 for any urgent maintenance needs. Despite what you may hear from the others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home. Going on 10 years now. Um, what do the others say about the building? Lisa says all kinds of stuff. I'm sure this building is well over 100 years old, you know. People are always complaining about one thing or another. But you'll hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. Sally Face says, yeah, most people do seem to complain a lot about small things. Lisa says, you can't sweat the small stuff, Sal. It's just no way to live, you know. Sally Face says, you're right. Lisa says, take it from me. You focus on the good stuff. Focus on what makes you happy in this life. Put your energy into that. Okay, it seems like a nice place. Lisa says, you betcha. So, do you know anything about what happened in room 403? Lisa says, it's a shame you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically, typically so gruesome around here. Poor Miss Sanderson. Who's Miss Sanderson, Sally says. Oh, never mind that. Best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. Is there anything to do for fun around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great, his name is Larry. We'll be in the basement. He'll be in the basement. I'll tell him he sent you down. You'll need a card to gain access for, from the elevator, though. You'll need a key card to access it from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I got a few extras. Sally says, cool, thanks. So, cool. I got, uh, got the key card to get in the basement now. Is this building haunted? Lisa says, Sal, sweetie, I've been taking care of the Addison Apartments for a long time. I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. It's just that people over... It's just people's overactive imaginations. Too much sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. See ya. See you around, Lisa says. Okay. Well, let's see what's in the basement real quick. Gonna go left first. Hey, a vending machine. Lots of tasty junk food in there. I'm not really hungry though. 1B. This must be the apartment. I went straight to it. Pizza. I like the uh, painting in the background. Pretty cool. Bathroom. Oh shit. What the hell was that? Sally Face says. That was a spectral figure, if I'd ever seen one. That's a phantom, a, a banshee, a wraith. Hold on. Keep out. That's that's the boys' room. That's Lisa's room. Yeah, let me go to Lisa's room first. It's locked, of course. Knock, knock. Larry says, yeah. Sally Face says, hey, uh, Larry, your mom said I should come down and say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey, come on in. The door's open, he says. That's a lot of cool posters in the background. Uh, Odin's blood, creeper, zombie, everything, all the time, sanity, fall, sanity's fall, I think. Uh, your soul will be destroyed. Yeah, so this kid's into into all the stuff. Okay, so he says, whoa, nice mask. That is a nice mask. It's a prosthetic, Sally Face says. Oh shit, sorry man. It's cool. I'm used to much worse by now. I'm glad you like it. So, do you, like, have no face under there? What happened? Larry says. Sally said, I'd rather not talk about that. Larry said, okay, change the subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. 
I'm Sal. Friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Larry says, Sally Face? And Sally says, I guess I really didn't have any decent friends, to be honest. So once they all started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, then assholes wouldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? It's pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great, Larry says. And Sal responds with, Ha! Huh, that's what your mom said, too. Larry says mother knows best. Why do you live in the basement? Mom always says it's because you... We gotta... Mom says it's because... Mm -hmm. My mom always says it's because we gotta guard the place from rats, but I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent free with the maintenance gig. It's cool though, I don't mind, I get to listen to music as loud as I want to when she's not around. Sally says nice. Larry says yeah, it's a little bit like my own bat cave. So what's up with the guy in 103? That's Mr. Addison. He owns the place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. He always talks through his little mail slot. He's a nice dude, just real strange. And oh yeah, if you say Addison tea, please and thank you to him, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate the free stuff. Oh, shit. I hate the stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. So what happened in room 403? Shh, not so loud, man. What? What is it, Sally says. The killer is still in the building. And Sally says, how do you know that? Larry said, I saw it happen. Sally says, are you high right now? Larry said, I wish I was, man. That was some scary shit. What happened? Okay, I was helping Miss Sanderson with a clogged toilet. It was just fin I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in, yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done. Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch. And I tried to calm him down, but before she could even get a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man. Just peeking through the crack in the, in the bathroom door. Anyways, all of it happened so fast, and he cleaned up so quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet, not even my mom, but I trust you. So, you know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie, the big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. Shouldn't you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to that detective, Larry said, but he won't listen to me without some sort of evidence. Like, my word isn't enough. Huh. I'll change the subject. Uh, I like your shirt. Thanks, it stands for Sally Face. Huh. Uh, Sally says, uh, I do have my own clothing line, so... Larry says, it's actually from a metal band called Sanity's Fall. Do you like metal? Sally says, I don't know. Larry says, oh, that's gotta change. Check out this song. It's their first single. Full album comes out in a few months. Cool. That's rocking. All right. Um, I'm done with this. No, maybe I'm not. Yeah, maybe the drums and the guitar isn't too bad, but uh, I don't, I don't particularly like the vocals. I'm not a big fan of uh, of bands that do that just nonstop. That shit's fucking. Cookie Monster Metal. Alright, well, this is Sally Face. Uh, I'm pretty sure that, uh, that the, the whole game is basically you're just uh, collecting items to try to solve a mystery or whatever, but then there's some supernatural shit that starts happening, and it's supposed to be fairly creaky, creepy or scary, but it's kind of a tongue-in-cheek sort of thing. Um, let's Let's transition into the 
read the words of the developer and see if the developers are feeding us a load of bullshit and if it's priced right for what I think the game is. Uh, I don't know how long the game is supposed to last, like if it's a five hour game or ten hour game or whatever, but uh, I think we got kind of the, the, the idea of what this game is and how it plays. And I think I'm going to go ahead and read the words of the developer. As you may or may not know, a Let's Try Out video is a part Let's Play. That means there's going to be some commentary in here. A part tutorial, you learn as I learn. A part first impressions, because most of these games I've never played before. And you're going to get to hear my thoughts as they kind of roll off my head in the moment. It's also kind of a part review, because I kind of construct my... I try to reiterate my thoughts at the end of the video and try to reconstruct a, a semblance of some sort of assessment, but by no means a thorough review. But of course, a mixed bag like this doesn't do any of those things very well. And all this, in 45 minutes or less, if I can, I try to make it as short as possible, but at the same time try to give you a realistic experience of what the first 30 minutes or so of a video game really is. That way you're better equipped to make the decision as to whether this game is the right fit for you and if you want to spend your hard-earned money on it. At the end, I do a Let's Read the Words of the Developer segment where we go back and read what the developer advertises for their game and then we try to assess whether they're feeding us a load of bullshit or if it's totally spot on on point with the way they advertise their their video game product so sally face episode one delve into the dark adventure following the boy with a prosthetic face and a tragic past unravel the sinister mysteries of sally's world to find the truth that lies hidden beneath the shadows so the reviews almost 8,000 reviews on the steam are overwhelmingly positive that's a surprise I wasn't real impressed with it, but uh, apparently the community really thinks this, this game is fucking phenomenal. So, um, this came out in 2016 and was developed and published by Portable Moose. This is a story-rich, dark, psychological horror game. And Episode 1 is available for 3 bucks. Sally Face the Complete Game is $15. So, 15 bucks for the complete game. This does not have a Metacritic score, as far as I can tell. In the first episode, Strange Neighbors, Sally Face and his father moves into an apartment filled with odd tenants and an unfortunate crime scene. Little do they know what misfortune still awaits. Unraveling the sinister mysteries of Sally's world to find the truth that lies hidden beneath the shadows. Some of the features are intriguing narrative that will linger in your thoughts. Speak with the dead using handheld video game system. The Gear Boy, uh, handcrafted by a solo dev including art, design, and music inspired by 1990s cartoons and personal nightmares, bizarre characters, ponies, headbanging, and more. <laughs> the game is composed of five episodes in total. The first episode offers a short introduction to Sally Face, which the subsequent episodes greatly expand on. This is a story-driven adventure game. Players interact with Sal's world and his nightmares. The main path typically requires casual effort, however there are hidden layers to be uncovered that will invoke a bit of head scratching for those players up to the challenge. So it seemed enjoyable, uh, I'm not going to lie, I mean it's just it's not really my cup of tea of a game, but uh, I could sit down here and play the game and, and probably very much enjoy myself, as, especially since uh, it's rated so high, so apparently it's got a lot more to offer. Um, maybe it gets a little bit more involved, maybe things come together a little bit more. Um, I like the art style for what it is being a 2D side-scrolling adventure puzzle game. Um, I appreciate that it looks like it's all developed by one person. It's, it's claims that it's all done by one person. Um, Sally Face is the only game, as far as I know, that this person has published on Steam that I can find. So Portable Moose, uh, one-man show, uh, or woman, I don't know which. Just like I don't know if Sally's a woman or a man, so... I did want to say that uh, this game did remind me of NeverEnding Nightmares, a game very similar to this one. Um, Side-scrolling, hand-drawn vibe, horror puzzle game. Also, I think they could have done the console port situation just a little bit better. I think it could have had a little bit better control in the options. 
it would have made me a little bit happier to be able to control the uh, the audio a little bit better with maybe a mouse with some mouse support but it was all button presses i think once you get into the game it doesn't really matter the key binds are it's all simple enough that it's really not necessary to have to rebind a bunch of keys uh, i do appreciate that WAS and D works exactly the same as the arrow keys so you can have both hands on the keyboard and kind of do some stuff but uh mm -hmm. it is what it is that's cool uh yeah, I think if you're into this sort of game, 15 bucks may be totally worth it. You can frequently find it on stay on Steam sale. So, and that's and that's how I got it. I got it on deep discount. Hey, see if you want to add this to your wish list. It's up to you. Personally, I think the way they advertise the game, I think it's two big thumbs up. I, I think the the metal music that I did here, I think the uh, the horror music in the background was was fitting and and worked good for what the game is. I think it's uh, spot on. I don't think they're trying to sell us a load of bullshit. I like it. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment down below. I've been Proto Dead. Peace out. All right. Thanks for stopping by and watching another video. Appreciate you making it all the way to the end. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for future content. Uh, leave, uh, leave a like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. Leave a comment down below expressing any other feelings that you might have. I have been Proto Dead, and I will see you in the future.